We'll guide you through how to use your GPU instead of your CPU on both desktop towers and laptops. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So firstly, if you're using a desktop tower, so essentially you have a tower computer and a monitor, what you need to do is make sure you're using the correct output. So when we look on the back of your computer, you're going to see your motherboard outputs and below that you'll then go and see your graphics card outputs, aka your GPU. So what you need to do is make sure you you're using the correct outputs. So make sure you plug your uh, monitor cables into the GPU because if you go and plug them into your motherboard, it's going to use your CPU. So that's super important. If you're using a laptop, of course, you don't actually really plug anything in because you've got that screen built in. So what we need to do is go and change a setting. So what we need to do is go and open up our Windows settings. So click on the start button at the bottom and then click on settings. In settings, head over to the left and go and press on system and then click on display and then scroll down to related settings and graphics. And then you need to go and do this for each app. So if there's sort of, sort of certain games you want to go and use your GPU in, then go and find them here. So scroll down. If you can't find it, you can always go and press on add an app and then choose if it's a desktop app or a Microsoft store app and then press browse and you'll need to go and find the files for it. So usually if you just did a usual default install, it's going to be in your program files. If you've done a custom install, then just find it. So to find your program files, click on local disk um, from this PC and then you can go into program files, either the normal one or x86 and then you can find the .exe and you can go and add it. And so to change it from using your CPU graphics to your GPU, go and select it just by clicking on it and then click on options. You've got three options here and one of them should be your GPU. Because I'm using my desktop computer for this guide, I don't see the option for my CPU graphics here. So I've just got the same one, but most people will have their CPU graphics under power saving and then under high performance will be their actual GPU. So make sure high performance is selected and then click on save. Now your laptop will be using your GPU for that game or app and then you can repeat it for the others. If you found this guide useful then please consider leaving a like.